Hi teachers, I'm Acacia and I'm here with Ellie. Ellie has traveled to hundreds of classrooms over the last few years, but now in this time of distance learning, we're bringing her presentation to you here with a few small tweaks. At the end of her talk, we'd usually have an interactive Q&A. So at the end of this video, I'm going to ask a few questions and pause for students to think about their answers or share them with parents. And I'll also lead a bit of a guided discussion on empathy based on Ellie's talk. Be sure to visit teachkind.org for additional lesson plans to follow up on her message. Hi everyone, my name is Ellie. It's nice to meet all of you. When I was younger, I spent many years in the circus where I was very sad. But today I'm happy because I now live in a huge sanctuary where other elephants and I are safe for the rest of our lives. We walk on soft grass and explore as much as we want. No more chains. The best thing about my new home? Let's see. I can sum it up in six words. Exercise, swimming, fresh air, friends, and freedom. I was sent to the sanctuary thanks to all the kind people like you, who decided never to go to circuses that force animals to perform. I'm here today as an ambassador. An ambassador is someone who stands up for others. I'm an ambassador for all animals. Big ones and small ones, furry ones, feathery ones, scaly ones, and ones like you. That's right, you are an animal. We are all animals. Let's play a game. Raise your hands. How many of you love animals? Is an elephant an animal? Is a rat an animal? Is a school an animal? No, good job. A school isn't an animal. It's a thing, right? What about a car? Is a car an animal? No, that's right. You are all very smart. A car is a thing, and so is a desk, and a ball, and a book, and a key. Things don't have feelings or personalities, but we animals do. That's why it's so important to treat all animals with kindness and respect. I look pretty different from all of you, don't I? My nose is longer than yours. But to me, your noses look very, very short. How can you smell anything with those tiny noses? Humans may not look exactly the same as elephants, or chickens, or rats, or fish, or ants. That's because they belong to different species. A species is a group of animals who look and act alike and can have babies to form families. For example, my species is Asian elephant. We have long trunks, gray skin, and floppy ears. And the boys all have tusks. But there are other species of elephant too, like my elephant friends in Africa. They have even bigger ears, and both boys and girls have tusks. Also, elephants send messages by making low sounds that other elephants can sense through the ground. Actually, I thought one of you was trying to send me a message just now because I hear some rumbling. But I think it might just be that you're hungry and I can hear your stomach rumbling. <laughs> but even though you and I belong to different species, we are all still animals and all animals have a lot in common. First of all, we all have a heart and feelings and we know what we like and what we don't like. I like to go swimming and exploring you might not like those things, and that's okay. Just like you, other animals can feel happy, sad, and scared. We elephants get jealous if our moms pay too much attention to our brothers or sisters, and rats giggle when they're tickled. We animals also love our families a lot. Did you know that mother hens use their wings to protect their chicks from the rain? Check it out. And you know how human babies sometimes suck their thumbs for comfort? Well, baby elephants suck their trunks for the same reason. 
See, we animals are similar in all the ways that matter the most, even though we may belong to different species. But some people only think about our differences and use them as a reason to treat us as things, not as individuals with thoughts and feelings. That's how I ended up in the circus. But you know, it's not just animals in circuses and marine parks who are bullied for being different. Cows, pigs, chickens, and other animals used for food don't want to be eaten. They want to live. Rabbits, rats, mice, and monkeys used in experiments don't want to live in cages and laboratories and be tested on. Orcas, dolphins, sharks, and other animals don't want to spend their lives in a cramped tank. Foxes, sheep, alligators, and snakes used for their fur or skin don't want to be made into clothes for people to wear. They need their fur and skin. Dogs don't want to be chained up outside or kept in a crate all day. And cats don't want to live out on the street. No one wants to be hurt or bullied, no matter what kind of animal they are. I'm here to tell you that you have the power to help all animals. And it all starts with realizing that you, too, are an animal. Say it with me. I am an animal. Louder! Wow, you sound like my lion friends. Now. The next time you hear someone talk about an animal like they're a thing or call them it like they're a table or a chair, please politely remind them that all animals are like you and me with thoughts and feelings and that we should say he or she when talking about animals, not it. If you kick a ball, it doesn't feel pain because a ball is a thing. Animals are not things and they feel pain. They also love their families and they want to live. If you see someone acting like a bully towards someone else, speak up. And just like it's wrong to hurt another human just because they look different from you, it's also wrong to hurt another animal just because they look different from you. That's called speciesism. Whenever you see someone hurting someone else, whether it's a human or another animal, you should tell your teacher, your mom or dad, or another adult. Well, it's been great talking with all of you. I'll never forget you, and I hope you never forget me and everything I told you today. I know you'll be heroes from now on and speak up for elephants and other animals. Now I have to go. There are lots of other kids who need to learn how they can help animals too. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye, Ellie. Wow, isn't she amazing? Do you remember what species Ellie said she belongs to? Ellie is an Asian elephant. Can you say the word species? A species is a group of animals who look and act alike and can have babies together and form families. What species do you and I belong to? That's right, we're humans. Humans belong to their own species and so do cats and dogs and mice and chickens and all other animals. Ellie said that she's an ambassador for animals. Can you say the word ambassador? That means that she stands up for others. You can be an ambassador too. We can be ambassadors for all animals, for elephants like Ellie and humans like you and me and all other animals by standing up for them whenever they need help, no matter what species they are. Because even though we may belong to different species, remember, we are all animals. And we're all the same in a lot of ways. Like, we all love our families. We all want to be free. We all like to hang out with our friends. We all have feelings. And we all want to live. So even though we may belong to different species, we animals are the same in all the ways that really matter, right? So now that we know what we animals all have in common, let's talk about what makes us different from things like chairs and cars. Things don't have feelings and things don't feel pain, but we animals do. Animals are not things. That's why we call animals he or she or they, not it. You wouldn't call your dog or cat an it, would you? What about your friends at school? Would you call them it? Of course not. We call them he or she or they, so we should do the same for all animals. 
What do we call it at school if someone is mean to us, calls us names, or hits us? That's called bullying. Ellie talked about how sometimes people focus on the differences that we animals have and use them as a reason to treat other animals like things, not as individuals with thoughts and feelings. That's called speciesism. Can you say speciesism? Speciesism is when an animal is being bullied because they're a different species. When you see someone being bullied, a human or an elephant or another animal, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel sad, right? When you see animals who are safe, happy, and free, how does that make you feel? That's right, it makes you feel happy. That is because of something called empathy. We use empathy when we put ourselves in someone else's place to try to understand how they feel. Let's play a game. Everyone, close your eyes. Imagine you're an elephant right now. Elephant you is very sleepy and you wanna lie down and take a nap. Would elephant you want to sleep in a dark metal trailer or outside under a nice shady tree? Yeah, me too. I'd want to nap under a tree, not in a metal trailer. Now you're a rabbit. Rabbit you is very hungry from running around and playing with your friends all day. Would rabbit you want to eat yucky chemicals or some fresh crunchy carrots? Me too. I'd want those fresh crunchy carrots. Okay, one more. Now imagine you're a dolphin and you want to go on an adventure. Would dolphin you want to be stuck in a boring cramped tank or in the ocean with miles and miles of new places to explore? Yeah, I'd want to be in the ocean too, not stuck in a tank. Now open your eyes. What we just did was use empathy. We imagined ourselves as other animals to try to understand how they feel. We can use empathy with our classmates, with our teachers, with our families, and with all other animals, no matter what species they are. So let's learn from Ellie and practice empathy every day to end speciesism and to help all animals. And the next time we hear someone talk about an animal like they're a thing or call them it, Remind them to say he, she, or they, because animals are not things. If you see someone hurting someone else, whether it's a human or another animal, speak up because no one wants to be bullied and we all want to be safe and treated with respect.